Welcome to the Creative Hudson. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a book cover in Affinity Photo. The book cover design for this tutorial is for a sci-fi book, but these steps can be applied to any genre you want to design a book for. First, go to File New. The cover for this design is for a book that's 6 inches by 9 inches, which is one of the standard sizes for printed books. Set the page height to 9 inches. Then set the page width to 13 inches. Since we're designing the front and the back of the book, we need to double the width, then add an extra inch or two for the spine of the book. Ultimately, this will vary slightly depending on the publisher and where you go to print the book. Make sure you have the ruler showing. Press Ctrl and R to show the rulers, or go to View and click on Show Rulers. Now drag two guidelines from the ruler on the left. Place the first guideline on the 6 and the second guideline on the 7. This is for the 1 inch spine of the book. Go to View and check Lock Guides. Next, go to File Open. Select the image of the mountain range and drag it onto the document. Turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio in the Transform panel. Then resize the image to fit the document. Right click on the image. Go to Transform Flip Horizontal. Grab the Selection Burst tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Select the Mountain Range. Press Ctrl, Alt, and R to refine the selection, or you can hit the Refine button in the Context toolbar. Set the Output to New Layer and hit Apply. Take the Move tool and bring the image down some. We can now replace the sky. Go to File Open and select the Nebula image and drag it onto the document. Place it beneath the Land layer. Take the Move tool and resize the image the way you see it on the screen. Label the layer Sky. With the Sky image selected, click the Add Pixel Layer icon in the Layers panel two times to add two new layers. Select the two layers and drag them into the Sky layer. Now select the first pixel layer we added, the one on the bottom. Go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the Fill color to bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code number, 322F30. Then go to the Edit menu and click Fill with Primary Color. Set the blend mode of this layer to Overlay. After that, select the second pixel layer. Next, go to the Swatches panel. Double click on the fill color to bring up the color chooser again. Enter the following hex code number, 9B4436. Go to the edit menu and select fill with primary color. Set the blend mode of the layer to color dodge. Next, go to the layers panel. Select the first layer we added to the sky layer. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. Then drag the duplicate into the land layer. Change the blend mode to color burn and lower the opacity to 60%. Once you've done that, go to File New. Select the image of the spaceship and drag it onto the document. With the Move tool, resize the image the way you see it on the screen. With the spaceship image still selected, press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the ship in the Layers panel. Next, click the Adjustments icon and select the Curves Adjustment. Drag the adjustment into the spaceship layer. Go to the Master channel. Now add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it slightly up. Add a point between the point on the left and the point we just added and drag it slightly down. After that, add a point up the curve between the middle point and the point on the right and bring this point down some. Go to the red channel. Add a point in the center and drag it up some. Now, go to File Open and select the image of the soldier with the explosion in the back. Grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and select the yellow area of the explosion, along with the debris that's in this area. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. 
Then copy the layer and place it onto the book cover. In the layers panel, drag the layer between the spaceship layer and the land layer. Place the explosion image behind the spaceship over the center of the nebula area. Now press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the explosion image. Click the adjustments icon and select the curves adjustment. In the master channel, add a point in the center of the curve and drag it up some. Now go to the red channel. Click and add a point above the point on the left and drag it up some. Next, add a point in the middle and drag it up some. Then add a point further up the curve and drag it up. Drag it inside of the explosion layer. Label this layer explosion and change the blend mode to color burn. Go to File Open. Select the image of the woman avatar. Drag her onto the document. Right click on the image. Go to Transform Flip Horizontal. Then resize the image the way you see it on the screen. Now press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of the woman avatar. Click the adjustments icon and select the curves adjustment. Click and add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it down. Next, go to the red channel. Click and add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it up. Then click and add a point further up the curve and drag it down some. Drag the adjustment layer inside of the woman avatar layer. Now go to file open. Drag the alien image onto the document. Resize it the way you see it on the screen. In the Layers panel, place the alien below the woman avatar. Select the alien. Press Ctrl and click the thumbnail of this layer in the Layers panel. Click the Adjustments icon and select the Curve Adjustment. Add a point in the middle and drag it up some. Next, go to the red channel. Click and add a point in the middle of the curve and drag it up. Now, click and add a point a little further up the curve. Drag this point down. Drag this layer into the alien layer. Next, go to File Open and select the image of the creature. Grab the Selection Brush tool. Set the mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the tool and select the creature. Once you've done that, press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer. Then copy the creature and paste it onto the book cover. Then resize the image the way you see it on the screen. Right click on the image and click Transform Flip Horizontal. With the creature still selected, press Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of the image. In the Layers panel, click the Adjustments icon and select the Curves Adjustment. Add a point slightly above the point on the left and drag it up. Add a point in the middle and drag it down some. Then, add a point further up the curve and drag it up. Now, go to the red channel. Add a point in the middle and drag it down some. Next, add a point further up the curve and drag it up. Label this layer Creature 1. Select the creature. Then, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. Resize the duplicated layer, making it smaller. Then place it in the area you see on the screen and label it Creature 2. Make sure this layer is beneath the Creature 1 layer in the Layers panel. Next, click the Adjustments icon and select the Recolor Adjustment. Make sure the layer is at the top of everything. Set the saturation to 49% and the lightness to 6%. Then set the Blend Mode to Average and lower the Opacity to 50%. This is to give the book design the right shade of red overall. After that, click the Adjustments icon again. This time, select the Levels Adjustment. Set the Black level to 4%, Gamma to 1.1, and the Output White level to 94%. Now we can add the text to the book cover. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Type Battle of. 
then select the text layer. Press Ctrl and Shift, then drag a copy of the text layer beneath the original. Type Polaris. Select both of the text layers. Go to the font family. Select the Amaze Obatim Ostra Vitalik font that you downloaded earlier. Or you can set the font to another type of sci-fi font. With the text layer still selected, go to the swatches panel and set the text to the following hex code, FBDA40. Now select both of the texts again. Press Ctrl and Enter to change the text into curves. Turn on snapping in the toolbar. Double click on the B to select the letter. Space the letters out the way you see them on the screen. To select the letters in the other group, double click on one of the letters in the group. After that, select both of the text groups. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layers. Select the Battle of group. Press Shift and rotate the group negative 90 degrees. Resize the text and place it along the spine of the cover. Now select the Polaris group. Press Shift and rotate the group negative 90 degrees. Then place the text along the spine of the book and resize the text the way you see it on the screen. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Click on the document and type C. Neal. This will be the author's name for the book. Now go to the font family and set the font to Agency FB Bold. Then press Ctrl and J to duplicate the text layer. You can find a download link to the agency font in the description of the video. Select the duplicated text layer. Press and hold Shift, then rotate the text negative 90 degrees and place it on the spine of the book. Resize the text the way you see it on the screen. Now select the two text layers of the front cover. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layers. Place the duplicated layers on the back of the book cover. Resize the text the way you see it on the screen. After that, grab the Frame Text tool from the Tools panel. Draw a text box on the back side of the book cover. Go to the Swatches panel. Double click the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Set the text to the following hex code, FCE784. I made up a fake synopsis for the book. You can make up your own synopsis as well or use some dummy text. Type your text into this box. Go to the font family and change the font to Agency FB Regular. Next, go to File Open. Select the barcode label and drag it onto the document. Place it on the back side of the book cover. Take the Move tool and resize it the way you see it on the screen. Grab the Frame Text tool again from the Tools panel. Draw a text box beneath the summary of the book. This text box is for a brief description of the author. Type the text that you see on the screen. Go to the font family and set it to the Agency FB regular font. Then set the color of the text to the same color as the text in the other text box, which is FCE784. We'll now add the book cover design to a book cover mockup. In the Layers panel, select all the layers. Click the first layer, then scroll down. Hold Shift and click on the Sky layer. Right click on the selected layers and select Merge Visible. Turn the layers we selected off. Select the Merge layer. Next, grab the Rectangular Marquee tool from the Tools panel. Set the Mode to New in the Context toolbar. Take the tool and make a selection of the front cover of the book. Then press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the duplicate onto a new layer. Label this layer front. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Turn this layer off for now. After that, select the Merge layer. Then take the Rectangular Marquee tool again and make a selection of the spine. Press Ctrl and J to place a copy of the selection onto a new layer and label it Spine. Press Ctrl and D to deselect and turn this layer off. Now select the Merge layer again. Use the Rectangular Marquee tool to make a selection of the back of the book. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the selection. Label the selection back. Press Ctrl and D and turn the layer off. Turn the Merge layer off. Turn the front layer on. 
With this layer selected, go to File, Export. Select PNG. Then go to Area. Click on Selection Area. Then click Export. Name the layer Front and choose where you want to save the image. Turn this layer off. Next, turn the Spine layer on. Make sure the layer is selected, then go to File Export. Go to Area and set it to Selection Area. Click Export and name it Spine and save the image. Turn this layer off. After that, turn the back layer on. Select the layer, then go to File Export. Change the area to Selection Area. Click Export. Name the image back and save it. Press Ctrl and semicolon to remove the guides. Then go to View and uncheck the Lock Guides. Now go to the Book Mockup link in the description of this video. Scroll down and click on Download Photoshop PSD. Right click on the downloaded file and click Extract All Extract. Open the extracted file. Click on the mockup file and open it. Open the front cover group. Then open the front spine group. Double click on the front spine layer. It'll open in a new tab. Go to File Open and select the spine image. Drag it onto the document. Grab the Move tool. Make sure snapping is turned on in the toolbar. Take the tool and line up the spine with the placeholder spine. Once you've done that, delete the Layer 6 layer and close the Embedded tab. You'll see that the spine is placed onto the book. Now open the front cover group. Double click on the front cover layer. Next, go to File Open and select the front cover of the book. Drag it onto the document. Take the Move tool and align the front cover image with the placeholder layer. Then delete the layer 7. Close the Embedded tab. After that, open the Back Cover Book group. Then open the Back Cover Spine group. Double click on the Back Cover Spine layer. Next, go to File Open. Select the spine image again and drag it onto the document. Grab the Move tool and rearrange the spine image like we did the other one. Delete the layer 7. Then close the Embedded tab. Once you've done that, open the Back Cover group. Double click on the Back Cover layer. Next, go to File Open. Select the back cover of the book and drag it onto the document. Take the Move tool and place the image over the document, like how we did for the front cover. Then delete the Layer 7 and Layer 5. Close the Embedded tab. For the background, you can choose to use the one that's already provided, or you can use another image of your choosing. Another thing you could do is change the color of the background, which is what I'm going to do. Turn the backdrop layer off. Select the model background layer. Go to the swatches panel and bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code color, 05A96B, or you can use whatever color you want. Go to the Edit menu and select Fill with Primary Color to fill the layer with your chosen color. If you chose not to use the backdrop image, turn the Wall Shadow layer off in the Layers panel. You might also want to turn the Cat Shadow off in the Front Cover Book group. And this is how to create a book cover in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.